Okay, now we look at the externalities, right? Um, okay, so basically, yeah, what is externality, right? So externality is a spillover effect associated with production or consumption that extend to a third party outside the market. So, bila mana third party ataupun sesuatu ataupun seseorang berada di luar daripada market, orang ketiga ataupun sesuatu benda yang 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 bukan dalam market itu uh, dapat efek daripada production dan consumption jadi itu adalah externality okay so externality ini uh, dibahagikan kepada positive and also negative ya yeah? so and negative externality is an external effect that generate cost to third party terus apa saja yang yang generate cost kepada orang ketiga atau benda lain ya yeah? selain daripada orang market itu adalah akan menyebabkan negative externality and for positive externality an external effect generate benefit to third party kalau um, consumption dengan production itu akan um, menyebabkan uh, sesuatu kebaikan dia adalah positive externality okay. um, right so um, okay of interest to environmental economists Externalities damage the atmosphere, water supply, natural resources, and overall quality of life is actually the negative externality. That is the problem, environmental problems, yeah, yang created by the negative externality, right? Um, so this is a, um, associated with the production, yeah, with the production. Apa example production menyebabkan negative externality? For example, yeah, the provision of air transportation causes noise pollution, damages air quality, and reduces the value of nearby residential properties. Yeah, uh, because of the air transportation, yeah, kapal terbang lah, yeah, dia akan menyebabkan masalah apa pencemaran uh, bunyi, yeah, menyebabkan masalah tidak ketenteraman yeah, dalam residential area tu lah. Um, so because the costs are incurred huh, by parties outside the market, yeah, bukan airline tu sahaja, yeah, airline, yeah, cost kepada third party. Yeah, so the cost pada third party ini adalah tidak di, diambil kira, not captured in the price of airline tickets. Yeah. Um, that is on the production side. On the consumption side pun ada juga. Yeah, for example, the cost of waste disposal associated with consuming products having excess or non-biodegradable packaging. Okay, so, kita kalau pergi kedai, kita akan menggunakan plastic bag lah, betul tak? So, plastic bag itu adalah non-biodegradable uh, package. Dia akan menyebabkan masalah uh, yang lebih teruk lah kepada environment. Yeah? Sebab dia akan menyebabkan chemical kepada udara dia akan menyebabkan masalah tidak boleh dihapus ya plastik bag ini itu adalah consumption um, positive externalities pun exist juga lah ya uh, jadi uh, positif uh, contohnya Aktiviti yang kita lakukan yang mendatangkan kebaikan kepada environment, datangkan kebaikan kepada third party itu adalah sesuatu yang positif. Okay, apa relationship between public goods and externalities? Yeah, um, environmental externalities are those affecting air, water, land and so on. So this is known as public goods juga. Yeah, jadi indirectly, um, this public good and uh, externalities are interrelated, even though they are not the same. Right? Okay, now we want to model the environmental damage. Yeah, we, we want to look how to uh, analyze the market, uh, the negative externality. Okay, so uh, to define the market, we assume that the market is um, perfectly competitive. Yeah, imperfect market lah. Eh? Imper uh, sorry, it is imperfect market. Yeah, imperfect market. Um, and then, um, sorry, it's not imperfect market, it's imperfect competition. Yeah, imperfect competition. And then, um, right, so we need to know that um, supply dan demand yang kita 
belajar tadi tu ya eh, kita kena tukarkan dia kepada uh, untuk supply kita panggil sebagai marginal private cost dan untuk demand kita panggil sebagai ma uh, marginal private benefit okey so equation yang sama tu kita ambil lah ya eh. kita ya yeah. so this is marginal ya yeah, marginal private cost and this is marginal private benefit jadi untuk kita mendapatkan ya yeah, um, the equilibrium on the competitive market then kita kena equate lah marginal private cost dengan marginal private benefit so kita cari ya yeah, marginal private cost dengan marginal private benefit ya yeah. ni kita akan dapat kita equate this, kita sel, kita sel, apa ni um, find the solution, kita akan dapat kuantiti dia berapa? Kuantiti 160,000 and uh, price adalah 22 dollar per barrel. So kalau kita buat dalam bentuk diagram, okay? Right, so this is the supply equals to marginal private cost. This is the demand marginal uh, private benefit. This is the equilibrium and yeah? the price is 22 per barrel and the quantity per competition market ya yeah? competitive market is um 160,000. Okay. Now um this kind of uh, market yeah, or this kind of equilibrium is actually um did not yeah, uh, did not capture the externality. Yang ni absence of externality eh absence of solution and so on. Ya. Yeah. Contohnya eh ini adalah market refined petroleum. Jadi kalau kita tidak mengambil kira the external cost associated with this uh, production and consumption of refined and products, uh, refined and petroleum, then kita tak boleh kata ni adalah efficient. Ya. Yeah. Eh, kita tak boleh kata ini adalah uh, yang terbaik. Ya. Yeah. Okay, so the problem with this equilibrium is ignore the external cost society of contaminated water supply caused by refined petroleum production as saya kata tadi so dia tidak ambil kira pencemaran ya yeah, untuk this kind yang tadi kita kita discuss okay uh, the cause of the water pollution are external to the market exchange and consequently are not factored into private market decision so kalau private market decision macam private social cost uh, sorry private market private cost market private benefit ini tidak mengambil kira external cost itu Ya, yeah. dan dia tidak mengambil kira juga external benefit. So the implications are serious because allocative efficiency require market ben market benefit to be equal to marginal. Cost. Jadi marginal benefit kena equal dengan marginal cost untuk mendapatkan uh, the allocative efficiency. Ya, yeah. jadi bila ini yang terjadi dia akan menyebabkan marginal private uh, cost ini undervalue. Ya. Yeah the opportunity cost of production and resulting output level to be too high. Ya, jadi dia akan menyebabkan output menjadi terlalu tinggi. Ya, jadi kita perlu revisit, kita perlu tambah dengan marginal external cost. Ya, yang ini kita akan tengok macam mana kalau kita dah tambah, ya, tu, uh, macam mana dengan model ini sekiranya kita tambah dengan external.